Hello once again. I am super excited. This is my unboxing of CBCS Comics. I have 29 today. It's my last submission I had in, so maybe a while before my next one, whenever I make it. <laughs> but let's start off. Here's the first bunch. I already cut the bubble wrap, so it's ready to go. We will start off with. Alias number one. First appearance of Jessica Jones. Now this time I got put grades that I thought they would be beforehand. I wrote them down. So I thought this was going to be a 9.6. In my shape. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh nice. 9.8. I was hoping but I wasn't expecting. Oh that's sweet extremely happy with that extremely happy was not expecting that well we're starting off good already one surprise ah, let's see this is oh this amazing spider-man uh number 141 i was expecting an 8.0 to an 8.5 I think this was the first appearance of the second Mysterio, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. But 8.0 to 8.5, I'm thinking. 9.2, nice! Yes, first appearance of Daniel Burkhart as Mysterio. Well, two pleasant surprises already. Doing good. Yeah. I was not expecting that high. Next. Another Amazing Spider-Man. This is 167. I was expecting a 9.4 to a 9.6 apparently. Uh, this was, well, I'll see what the special thing was when I look at it. 9.4, there we go. Slightly on the lower end of the, what I thought it would be, but still good, what I thought. First appearance of Will of the Wisp. But yeah, it's right where I thought it would be. 9.4, not bad. So if they're going in order, this might be another Amazing Spider-Man. Yes, it is. This is 176. I also thought this would be a 9.4 to a 9.6. And let's see what we got. 9.6, nice. Higher end this time. Uh, yeah. Happy with that. It's as good as I expected. Uh, so far, two surprises and two expected. Another amazing Spider-Man. This whole uh, submission is not Spider-Man. There, there's only one, two more after this. So <laughs> uh, this is 222. Uh, I was expecting a 9.4 to 9.6 again, and we got 9.4. I think I'm getting better at this. Well, I'm estimating lower these days, which is why I'm actually getting some surprises. So. First appearance of James Sanders as Speed Demon. Yeah. Nice 9.4. <coughs> All nice high raids so far. <coughs> oh, here's a special one. <coughs> this is the first autograph comic I ever got as a kid. I've had this since I was a teenager. Uh, when I was in Edmonton at a comic convention, I got this from the table and I think uh, was it Steve Englehart was there and he actually had it autographed and he gave it to me. So I know it's not a valuable one but I wanted to send it in this because it's cool. It's the first autograph comic I ever got. Uh, it's a ash can so I wasn't really sure how to really grade this but there's nothing wrong with it so it's probably a 9.6 maybe a 9.8 I don't know. But I wanted to get it verified for the autograph so well. 9-8, there we go. Yeah. 9-8 autograph. Verified Steve Englehart signature. Very happy with that. It's a cool comic. <coughs> yeah. Uh, then, uh, another amazing Spider-Man. This is 257. I was expecting a 9.2 to 9.4 on this. Let's see what we got. 
Knight six. Nice. Higher than expected. Second appearance of Puma. Very happy with that grade. Doing good so far. Very happy with this submission. Ah, Leading the Spider-Man 365. Some would say this is the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. And some would not. Uh, my opinion is... I'm not really sure myself. <laughs> this is his first chronological appearance that was... Uh, that was sold in stores. However, it wasn't a true comic, it was more of a preview, so I'm kind of on the fence with this one myself. Uh, when it comes to the Gambit first appearance, that was definitely X-Men Annual 14. This one, though, is a little bit more iffy, but happy to have it anyways. I figured this would be a 9-6. So let's see what we get. 9-6, there we go. Well, that's what I thought it would be. Got a good price. I didn't even get this one pressed because I didn't think it would help. So, so yeah. Uh, here's another autograph. This is sort of Asriel. Uh, first appearance of Asriel. Autographed by... Uh, oh, I can't remember his name. I'll see when I see it. Uh, I was thinking this would be a 9-6 after pressing. There was some sort of funky thing going along, along the spine, but I figured it would press out. And we got 9A. Yeah, even better. Joe Caseta autograph. Verified. So that is nice. I got this from Capcom Comics for I think 30 bucks, 35 bucks. It's a good price for an autograph 98. <laughs> yeah. That was a deal, I think. So, very cool comic. Next. Oh, there's a bunch of... This is cool. This is Battletech number one. Uh, I was always a fan of Battletech, the tabletop game, and uh, when I was growing up. And I think this is the first one ever on the CBCS census. <laughs> is not a popular comic. I'm sure there's lots out there. This one was in really high grade. I thought, I liked it Battletech as a kid. I thought I'd get the first issue. It was a high grade issue. I expected this to be a 9-6. We'll see what we got. 9-6, uh, there we go. That's what I thought. And yeah, it's a cool comic. Not a lot of them around. Who knows, maybe they'll make a Battletech movie one of these days or something and it'll take off. <laughs> kind of like with uh, a lot of movies coming out lately. Uh, and here's another one, Dragonlance. Now Dragonlance was my favorite uh, novel series I ever read. In fact, the first book I ever read was Legend of Huma when I was about 14. That is still to this day the only book I've ever read more than once. I think I've read it about three or four times, maybe five. Uh, so I love the Dragonlance series. So I thought, I saw this number one issue come up and I thought, I gotta get that. Something from my childhood. I still love Dragonlance, I still read it. I figured this would be a 9.4 9.6. And we got 9.4. Yeah, not bad. This is the big one from this submission. Fantastic Four Annual Number Six, or King Size Special Number Six. This is first appearance of Annihilus and Franklin Richards, I believe it was. Bought this from Capcom Comics. They said it was a 6.0. Uh, I thought it looked way nicer than that. I thought, well, I only looked at the front. I didn't want to take it out of its packaging. I was going to send it in regardless whether it was a 6 or higher. But to me, from the front at least, it looked like an 8.0 or higher. Uh, this got 
<laughs> Even better than I thought. <laughs> wow, that was a good deal. An 8.5 of this. I think I got it for... I think it was about 350 But totally worth it for an 8.5. Extremely happy with that grade. That is awesome. I don't even know what the 8.5 in that is worth. But it's definitely going to be a lot more than 350. That's 350 Canadian. So that's only like 250 to 275 American. So pretty good price. Oh, I just love this cover. I'm not really a big Flash fan. But it's, this is just a, such a cool cover. Flash versus Flash. This is Flash number 323. I figured it'd be a 94296. <coughs> I think there's one tick on the spine that I knew wouldn't press out, so it shouldn't get a 98, but unless it did press out. It must have pressed out. Wow. Okay. That's a surprise. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. That's an excellent grade. Huh. <laughs> Some really nice surprises this time. Really nice surprise. Oh, and this is oh, that's gonna be really hard to see. <laughs> it's a metal cover. Uh, it's most likely why you can't see it. This is Hell Sonya number one. Uh, the only first metal cover I've ever bought. Uh, I got it for the price. I got it for about $58, I think. So, Canadian again. Uh, I think this was should have got about 9.8, was what I was thinking you'd get. And we got a 9.8. Nice. Yeah, with a metal. It has really sharp corners on this thing. Like, super. Oh, wait. There, if we get the light, that's right. You can see it a bit. Uh, uh, it's got a gorgeous cover, but. It's really hard to see with this lighting. You can kind of see it a bit there, but anyways, gorgeous metal cover, 9.8. Extremely happy with that. And now I won't cut myself while looking at it. Because <laughs> those corners are so sharp. <laughs> They'd cut you right through the bag. So now it's in a case I can actually enjoy it without cutting myself. <laughs> okay, let's see first bunch. Now the second stack. Okay. Uh, I can see by the yellow backing this is another autographed one. This is Hulk number 331. This was the first issue that, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, first issue Peter David was on, I believe. And this, this is, it's autographed by him. So I was thinking this would be a 9.4. See what we got. 9.4. Hey, damn, I'm getting better at this. Yeah, Peter David, David autograph. 9.4. Nice shape. Happy with that. Exactly what I expected. Then we got uh, Invaders number 16. I believe this was the first appearance of Warrior Woman. Uh, her first cover is the very next issue, but this is her first appearance. I thought this would be a 9.0 to 9.2. A little bit lower than most of my other ones here. We got 9.6. Oh, that pressing must really help. CBCS, their pressing is way better than my first submission. That first submission, they, they did not press a lot of them very good. But lately, they're spot on. Not only that, this submission from the time they received it to the time I got it back, two and a half months. That includes VSP, so verifying signatures, pressing, and grading, and shipping back within two and a half months. They've got really upped their game. They're way faster now. But yeah, 9.6, I'm extremely happy with that grade. I was not expecting that. Okay, then we got, oh yeah, this is just a cover one, 
Love this cover. It's a newer comic. This is Last Barbarians number one. I thought this would be a 9.6 to a 9.8. Let's see what we got. Oh, 9.6. Still what I thought, but yeah, too bad. Still love the cover though. Still glad I got sent it in. But yeah, but yeah if you don't have a 9.8 in these modern ones, mostly just for the looking out on the wall. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, I love this one. I just love this cover. This was the first appearance of Moondog, I think it was. Uh, yeah, Marvel Team Up number... Uh, which one was it? Marvel Team Up number 24. Great cover. First appearance of Moondog. I thought this would be a 94296. And we got 96. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy. Really nice shape for one that old. It's a 74. Okay. And we got Omega Man number three. First appearance of Lobo. Very cool comic. I figured this would be 9496 after pressing. Had a bit of a, a, a non break break increase down the spine but pressing should have got that out we got nine eight. Oh yeah oh that's that's amazing yeah that pressing really really helped this one wow not expecting a nine eight in that super happy with this submission so far ah predator number one First printing. I checked before I sent it. <laughs> uh, I was thinking this same thing, 9496. Uh, press. There's another long crease on this one that press should have got out. And we got 94. Okay. Lower end of what I thought, but still a cool comic. Yeah. And I got a pretty good deal on this one when I got it too, so that's still good. I can't expect surprise nine eights all the time. <laughs> uh, oh yes, Secret War number three, I believe. Uh, Secret War two, sorry. This was first appearance of Quake. This is one of the ones I sent to Capcan to get pressed because there's a, a tick, one single tick right on the spine. They got it mostly out, but is still slightly there so that's why i figured that this would be a nine six because there's the, the one little tick it's the only issue on this whole comic so nine six wow they got it out enough that tick out enough to get a nine eight capcan pressing is pretty good too with uh with cardstock and with normal comics they're pressing on my square bound i wasn't too well wasn't too happy with I got that repressed at CBCS in the submission too. We'll see how that turned out later. But yeah, nine eight. Happy with that. On top of that, when I got this, I bought this off Capcan as well. They had it listed as a second printing and priced as such. And I knew it was a first because it was a black cover. Second printing is the white cover. So <laughs> I got a good price on this too to start with. Then we got uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, number nine. So it's the first appearance of White Tiger. Uh, this one I got pressed at Capcan before I sent it. They got a lot of the ticks pretty well out, but they're still slightly noticeable. So I figured this would be about a nine to 9.2. And um, we got nine, six. Whew. Yeah, very happy again. Capcan pressing to this one, did a really nice job of it. As you can see, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way lower grade. So yeah, pressing's been coming out good this time. Made a huge difference. Ah, uh, Star Slayer, number two, first appearance of the Rocketeer. Uh, let's see, this one I was figuring would be a 9.4. So let's see what we got. 
Knight six. Nice surprise. Happy with that. Very cool. Oh, this submission just wants me wants me uh, makes me want to send in more of them. <laughs> the, the, the rate the grades I'm getting. Uh, X Men. This is one twenty five. I think this is the first cameo of Proteus. Uh, I was figuring this would be a nine point four. We got a nine four. Yeah, there's just a few ticks I think on this one. Yeah, should be first yeah. first cameo Proteus. Then we got. I believe it's the next one. Yes, 126. And this is the first full appearance of Proteus. I thought this would be a 9.4 to 9.6. And we got 9.8. Yeah. Oh, that pressing helped that one. Wow. Yeah. Very nice grade. Extremely happy. Was not expecting that at all. <laughs> oh. Should be another X Men. Yes. Uh, a little bit disappointed with this one. Okay, this is 139. When I pulled this out before I sent it to look at it to see if it needed pressing, I accidentally got the tape on the back of the board stuck slightly over here. And so I had a slight tape pull, which I could see a little bit of ink on the tape when I pulled it off. And that's why I try not to open these up and look at them anymore. If I do, I'm much more careful or cutting the tape with them because, yeah, I slightly damaged it just looking at it. So I didn't get this pressed because the last pressing is not going to help that. And I didn't see anything else that really needed pressing. So hopefully I didn't hurt the grade too much with that slight tape pull. It's not very noticeable. Uh, so I was expecting a 9.2 to 9.4. Depends how much they, well, if they notice the tape pull and how harshly they knock the grade. Let's see what we got. 9.2, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that tape pull affected it. Yeah, I can see it from here. I'm sure they wouldn't have missed that. But uh, yeah, first appearance of Heather Hudson. Still a decent grade. And since I didn't pay for pressing, it helps counteract the damage I did, <laughs> money-wise. Uh, and we got, oh, another X-Men. This is 184. Uh, first appearance of Forge, I believe. I was expecting a 9.2 to 9.4 in this as well. We got 9.6, even better. Yeah, pressing helped this one a lot. It's a bunch of small ticks that looks like they got out. And only two left. Oh, sad, this is so much fun. Uh, good old Venom number one. Pretty much everyone probably has this. Got it for a really good price. Uh, pressing can't help it, but it was in really nice shape anyways. I thought, well, I'll send it in. This is one of the comics I had when I was a kid. Although this isn't the comic I had when I was a kid. This was in the half that I no longer have. So I bought this again, got it for, for a good price, and sent it in. So we got 98. Sorry, I was going to say I was expecting 96298. Got a 9.8. Very happy. I got this for a really good price too. So And no pressing. So yeah, that's definitely a good buy. Oh, happy. Very happy with that. And the last one I have left. This should be first appearance of Gambit. Oh, <laughs> let's get rid of that. <laughs> there we go. First appearance of Gambit. Now, this one. I originally sent this to Capcan Comics for pressing. There's three ticks non color breaking along the spine. They got those out, but then they induced this non-color big crease all the way down the spine. <laughs> so I got it repressed when I sent it to CBCS. 
Now, if it got pre if that if it got rid of that, then I'm thinking this could be a nine six two nine eight. If they didn't, then it'll be a nine four two nine six, I believe. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I figured. It, yeah, that crease is there. They didn't get it out. So this got pressed twice and ended up probably the same grade it would have been had I not got it pressed at all. <laughs> Sad. But I still believe this is the true first appearance of Gambit. <laughs> well, that is all for today. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to be making another submission, but I'll probably still do videos on my unboxings of comics I order from Capcan every few months or so. And maybe some other stuff. I have other interests too. Like show a bit of that sometime. Uh, but for now, have a good night.